Hello and welcome to Total War Warhammer. This is the first video of two. It's been a while since I've uh, showed a video of an online battle, but I am back and this is uh, the first video. I will be playing Bali the Walrus, who does uh, who is very fond of Bretonians. And I've gotten to uh, like the Empire as a faction, uh, just because of the familiarity with... Um, good infantry and solid cavalry that um that were just a major part of most um total war factions in previous games yeah so um the empire bretonia the matchup between men is um slightly nuanced i mean the bretonians are pretty one-dimensional but since the empire is so um so so much the opposite it, it can in, uh result in some pretty interesting fights um, so I've brought four swordsmen, uh, four, uh, spearmen, three great swords, three handgunners, one Knights of the Blazing Sun, and for my heroes, um, a light wizard, a captain, and a general vampire, and I left out this, uh, great cannon. So the reason I brought this great cannon was to, uh, do a lot of damage versus anti-large. Uh, you can see here, this tooltip says it's anti-large and armor-piercing. Both of which um, is uh, qualifies these Bretonian cavalry, and the uh, the Bretonian cavalry are the specialty of uh, the Bretonia. Uh, these Knights of the Realm and the Grail Knights, of which he has fielded none, but does have four of these Knights of the Realm. And um, so yeah, great cans are extremely effective against Knights of the Realm. Already taking some shots, 43 down to 43 here and down to 39 here. So he has also brought uh, six spearmen at arms. Um, and uh, two men at arms with uh, pole arms for armor piercing damage, three peasant bowmen in the center, and a, a damsel. So, uh, casting a spell here, the Uranus Thunderbolt, and you can see it went off and uh, hit my great cannons. And look, you can see uh, down you, on the model, it was three artillery pieces, but one of them is broken, and it's down to two artillery pieces. So, um, this is the first use I've ever seen of magic versus artillery and I looked after the battle if you check Uranian's Thunderbolt here it says good against artillery pieces small strike area so a uh, very interesting use and I would send my Je Empire Captain after him but he's got King Lewin and some Pegasus Knights uh, protecting him so yeah he also has four Knights of the Realm Pegasus Knight and uh, one Mounted Yeoman so I, I can't really can't do anything against this damsel I can try to uh, move around the artillery pieces, but it just, they're so slow. So yeah, I'm uh, going to strike down and set that uh, cannon ablaze. So um, my one most effective tool against these knights is uh, made 66% a a less effective. Um, uh, over here, Bully the Walrus has lost micro on his uh, Knights of the Realm for a bit. And I've gotten some uh, nice little shots, warning shots against them my hand gunners so uh, he's gonna advance slowly he doesn't really um, need to really uh, rush anymore because my can is reduced to, to one piece all 24 guys <laughs> manning one gun pretty useless so he's gonna send his uh, Pegasus Knights forward I'm gonna see this and I'm gonna use my light wizard to cast net of Amatok Net of Amatok is extremely uh, useful against uh, Bretonia because um, the combo with the handgunners is really nice. You can net them and then uh, shoot them out of the sky with the handgunners. You can see they're taking considerable damage right there. I've got two units uh, firing in. Already one down. And so he's going to send in uh, Knights of the Realm trying to feint and uh, move my troops around so that um, an open area uh, sh presents itself. As it were. So he is also getting a threat with King Luan Leonkur, who's on a Pegasus Knight, which you don't see on that often. It might be a mistake, he might have been trying to put him on a, a Hippogriff or Beaquis, but um, he is on a Pegasus. So uh, he's going to do a lightning strike against these handgunners, not going to actually take any models out, but do a lot of HP damage. Also going to charge these spearmen in the back, they are not braced for that and going to take considerable damage. But these uh, Pegasus Knights have taken a beating. They've only lost four guys, but you can see they're le way less than half health. 
Um, so he's also going to uh, cast Curse of the Midnight Wind on my troops. Really nice looking hex. And uh, but I'm going to net him as he's trying to retreat, and that's going to obliterate this Knights of the Realm. Uh, just going to be torn apart by these uh, spearmen. So he's advancing quite quickly, and uh, this deployment uh, behind this uh, this Griffin altar in the middle of the Norska, I don't know what that's supposed to, to represent, but uh, that thing is uh, stopping my advance of the troops. But you can see this uh, Knight of the Realm just got uh, just wrecked by the, the meat grinder of all of these troops in here, but they're presenting a nice blob for those uh, three archers to, uh, to fire into. So, um... Yep, you can see the arrows arc arcing in, and then the main engagement is gonna uh, to take place. My great swords are getting into uh, combat, and uh, I'm chasing off the knights nice over there. So I also have um, ah, I also have my uh, general of the empire in combat, and uh, he has uh, King Lewin trying to take down uh, my hand gunners and tie them down. So I'm gonna send in my uh, knights of the blazing sun to pin. King Lewin to make sure he doesn't get back from the air, but uh, he, this, the combination of uh, bowmen and uh, spearmen at arms have uh, just uh, bowled over these swordsmen. Not not a good use from uh, just blobbing up two units against one, but um, not bad. And um, so the peasant bowmen are going to fire in into my great swords. High high value units. They do have good armor, but they also don't have shields. And uh, shots in the flank are going to do extra damage to them. Well, yeah, you can see them falling down. Just arrows all over the place. So, um, another uh, hex going off here on my troops. Cursing the Midnight Wind. So, I'm using my General of the Empire and my Captain just hold up this flank. He is getting charges in all the time. So, um, King Lewin is, uh, uh, jumping around the battlefield, leaping across, and, uh, these Pegasus Knights are still alive, even though they've been, uh, riddled with bullet holes that are gonna fly majestically above. Oh! Not on your mighty, uh, high horse anymore. So, um, I'm gonna silence these Peasant Bowmen because they've caused a lot of damage in this battle, and he's gonna see that, and he's gonna protect him with his, uh, Knights of the Realm, and I'm not going to get the counter charge against them, so these uh, these winged lancers are going to come in, and it's also going to send in uh, men at arms with pole arms to uh, charge and get uh, a nice uh, bonus versus large of uh, 16. So yeah, these uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun are not going to like that, as well as King Lewin in in there. Um, so uh, I have been this flank that I was holding. He is. Uh, his knights have gone around my rear and gone around over to this side, so I have turned around this fight, especially with my uh, light wizard, general of the empire, and my empire captain all, um, all in this fight. Um, but my hand gunners still weary from that uh, King Lewin charge, but they're going to advance over this hill and start uh, firing at uh, the king himself. So, uh, great swords advancing into position. Over here on this side, I have uh, pinned some Bretonian knights and uh, caught them between uh, my spearmen over there. Really nice use of a net of Amatok. It's really, it's easier to use than you think. So yeah, uh, King Luin is flying all over the place. I'm gonna shoot him out of the sky. I'm gonna get a rear charge on those great swords and start to uh, really good damage. Oh, the the volleys of from the peasant bowmen over there. Get to really nice uh, work against the back of these great swords, and the splash damage from King Loon is really quite devastating. And these uh, great swords are not going to survive from that; they're going to uh, uh, route pretty quickly. So I'm I've brought my Empire Captain to challenge the the Luin, the Mighty Lion. And also, I'm going to get a, a good rear charge from the remaining of these uh, Knights of the Blazing Sun. Powerful charge straight through the entire formation of uh, Bretonian peasants, and yeah, you can see the, the bullet holes kicking up dirt. 
and great swords uh and spearmen fighting the the majestic knight uh, my general has not fared so well he is extremely low health he has already used up all of his healing uh healing uh replenishment as as well i think it's because uh he was just fighting spearmen on a horse on second thoughts it, it, it might be uh useful just to put um the, the general on a foot against Petonia. Even though he sacrificed the mobility, he doesn't really need a horse. So, uh, I'm gonna get a final rear charge into these, well, not really a rear charge, a final charge in these peasant bowmen, that's gonna break them one last time, and all of the peasants rout. Um, the, the king trying to rally them to his banner, but, um, now my general is gonna come back in, bite him in the butt, and he's gonna uh, flee with his troops. Can't take it anymore. Empire captain chasing him as well. So, um, really uh, interesting fight here in terms of who got the kills here. 149 kills on the great swords. Now, great swords are usually meant to be um, anti-infantry, anti-high armor, and the Bretonians don't have any of that. They have high armor cavalry and low armor infantry but um, if you think about it uh, if you protect them well with spearmen I always kept spearmen close to these great swords they just nothing can really do harm to them and they just rack up kills uh, by the droves um, light wizard also came in clutch negating this pegasus knight but um, also really good use of the damsel I've never seen that before in an actual battle um, you ran his thunderbolt against my uh, great cannon just completely uh, negating it as well as casting some Curse of the Midnight Wind so very uh, nice use. King Lewin even though he's on Pegasus still got a respectable 71 kills and um, uh, and Peasant Bowman also got very good damage against all of my troops. These spearmen cost 300 and um, I, I mean he he wasn't even firing at these spearmen he was firing at these greatswords so very, very nice kills on these guys. Uh, Spearman at arms not going to fare too well. Just um, maybe not, sh maybe shouldn't have brought s quite so many of them. But all in all, um, these handgunners, that's the Blazing Sun, and uh, Great Swords were, did, the, did the job for me. So uh, good game to Bali the Walrus, and I'll see you next time.